Robert Lugo. And I'm Madeline Velasquez. And we're here to show you what it's like to be a Pasadena media intern. state-of-the-art equipment and studio, you also get access to professional audio equipment. Believe it or not, all of this is accessible to the community. You're lying. I'm not lying. Pasadena Media helps foster free expression in video and audio form. We're a media training center who helps those become a public service for all communities by voicing their opinions and their and creative freedoms. So where do I see Pasadena Media in the future? Uh, interestingly enough, Pasadena Media is our new doing business as name, so we're really excited to have Pasadena Media be well known in the community. Most people know that we are the Arroyo Channel for public access and KPAS for the government access channel, and that we are the umbrella organization for the two education channels here in Pasadena, Pasadena City College, and uh, KLEARN, which is um, Pasadena Unified School District. So uh, Pasadena Media kind of encompasses all of these channels, but it also represents people in the community and local programming. And uh, where I hope it goes is that people recognize that if somebody is at an event and they say that they are uh, working with Pasadena Media or they have a t-shirt on or they see the logo, that they recognize Pasadena Media. Site Deck is a presentation tool that is used to have a, a level of interactivity with the presenting uh, material. This is actually a demonstration created by the company IMAT, which developed Site Deck, and it uses uh, keying, which is basically you, you cut a hole in the picture and you stick something else inside that hole. So you take the presenter and put them into the presentation. Um, and we are one of the few places to have it. We're the only access facility in the country that has one, or on the planet as far as I know. There's less than a dozen of them in the world active. There's um, about nine currently, and we are fortunate enough to have one of them. Uh, one of the reasons why we have it is uh, partly because Pasadena is a central hub for information. We've got Caltech, we've got some a mass of, of educational medical institutions and it's a very powerful tool that all of them can use so as we develop it um, they will be able to take advantage of it and then it's also something that is new for our producer members who want to just a lot of them have presentation type shows so it's a way for them to up the level of their programming by immersing themselves into the presentation okay. so how do you two feel about interning at Pasadena Media feel great, feel empowered, feel like I have a sense of responsibility, independence. Yeah. yeah. Feel more masculine too, I don't know why. <laughs> okay. I feel that it's an amazing experience in learning new, um, about like the produce, production, producing. Um, about the technology that they have here. It's just 
amazing experience. So when you first heard about Passing Media, what was what came to mind? I don't know what that is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping that we've got, you know, pretty big things coming out ahead and that, you know, we, you know, give the other networks a run for their money. Uh, and also that we're extremely successful and people are interested in helping us, to, you know, with donating to the organization and making sure that we're a valuable resource for the community. Thank you for joining us. So come on down, make some TV over here at 150 Los Robles Avenue. Located right here in the heart of Pasadena. Sky's the limit! Ah. You were supposed to say that! <laughs>